What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today I'm gonna to be going over my flight simulator setup and the generic products you need to operate a flight simulator. So let's jump right into it. The base game that I use is X-Plane 11. You can use Flight Simulator X, X-Plane 11, or the new FSX 2020. The download for this, uh, for these products were so easy. They were unbelievable. And ask any questions about that. And if you need, you can go onto the website to figure that out. But I'm gonna go on to what is on my desk. So on my desk, I have obviously the monitor to run that to run X-Plane. I have my logbook. I have a 60% keyboard that sits on top of my yoke system so I can type in airports. I have my flight switch panel. I have my throttle quadrant, and I have the flight rudder pedals. So let's jump into the functions. So right here, this is the flight yoke system. So in the center column, we have a tablet which has three buttons. One is function, which changes it from local time to stopwatch. And then the local time is in military time. So we have hours, minutes, and seconds. Then you have start and stop and reset. So the only reason you should use start and stop is if you're turning on your stopwatch so you can start it, as you can see right there. Stop it and reset it. Now we're gonna go on to the arms of the yoke stick. So on the left arm, you have two buttons right here. This is used to look around, left, right, up, and down. Then ailerons up and down. Now, if you look to the back, you have a red button. That is a button for gear up and down if you don't want to touch the keyboard or if you don't have a switch panel. Now on the right arm, we have three buttons right here. This button was not binded when I got mine. I binded it to speed brake. Now we have flaps up and down and trim. Now on the back of this one, we have our mode wheel. So if you change the mode, which I'll be doing right now, you can change it to three, two, or one. So now for the throttle quadrant, we have three sticks. We have power, prop, and fuel. They all have three different notches. You have reverse, zero, and free from zero to 100. You have five different percentages. You have 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%, and 0%. Then we have T1 switches. T1 through T6, like that, and the flight rudder pedals. Now, we have the wheel in the middle, which causes tension negatively or positively on either foot pedal. And obviously, if you know how to work it, you if you push this up, that one's going to go down. And if you pull this one down, that one's going to go up. So, example, right foot up, left foot down right foot down, left foot up. Now I'm gonna go on to the products, or now the flight switch panel. So we have the, the notch right here, which turns engines from off to on, or just right to start, left to start, or both master switches, battery, avionics master, fuel pump, de-ice, heat, heat, close, cowl, and then for the lights. We have panel, beacon, nav, strove, taxi, landing, and then landing gear up and landing gear down. These lights will go on when you switch landing gear up and down. They're just not on right now because I don't have the flight simulator running. So this right here is definitely not needed, but I recommend it 100%. It helps so much for the realism and so you don't have to use your keyboard as much. Now I'm gonna go on to the products themselves. So when you go, all of my products are from Logitech and I, I got most of my products in a bundle. So right here, I just pulled up the Logitech website. So I got one, two, and three, the Logitech yoke system, the throttle quadrant, and the pedals all in one bundle for $340. 
Now we have the yoke and the throttle system alone. So these two come together in one package for $170. And then you can get the pedals alone for $170. And then you can get this alone for $100. So once again, I have all of my gear, my keyboard, logbook, and one thing I forgot to mention is my mouse. So I definitely recommend a wireless mouse because you it's just so hard to have a wire go through all of these wires of the gear. So having a wireless mouse definitely does help. And uh, I did make a video on wireless versus wired and my favorite out of all of the brands. So I'll be linking that in the description below. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord server, which will be linked below. I appreciate you guys and have a great day.